Senator Gene Shaheen joining us from Washington in the aftermath of the president's inauguration speech. And Senator, you've uh, taken in quite a few speeches from Joseph Robinette Biden in your life. Uh, what do you think of this one? Well, I thought it was the kind of speech that the moment called for. It offered hope and said that that requires unity, that all Americans need to come together to get us through this pandemic to restore the economy and the jobs and opportunities that people are so desperately in need of. And he talked about his commitment to make that happen, his, a commitment to Main Street, not to Wall Street, um, to standing up to our enemies, but um, reinforcing our relationships with our allies on the international level. And, and I think more than anything else, it was about the importance of America coming together. We're in the middle of this pandemic. He talked about the crises that we're facing in this country in addition to the pandemic. Of course, we have the economy and the challenges that are facing too many people who are struggling. We have uh, racial inequities that we're still facing and we have climate change, which is uh, an existential threat that we've got to address. So I think it was an appeal to all of us to not only come together, but to um, one of the lines that he used, I thought was to see each other, not as enemies, but as neighbors. And if we can think about that, that we're trying to work with our neighbors to get through this period in our history and to come out on the other side, better for everybody, that that will be an approach that we should all be able to support. Particularly in the body in which you serve, the U.S. Senate, how do you Absolutely. reach for that politics of unity uh, while also potentially having to try former President Trump uh, in the first weeks of the, uh, the new administration for President Biden here? Well, I think President Biden made an important symbolic gesture this morning in inviting the Republican leadership in both the House and Senate to join him at church. I thought that was a good start. Um, certainly, we all need prayers as we look at how we go forward in the future. Um, and I have been part of a group of a bipartisan group that worked on the COVID package. We have continued to meet since that time to try and expand on the numbers of people who are joining us and to, I think, approach what we need to do in the Senate for the country in a way that the American people expect. Now, we are gonna take up the impeachment. There's no doubt about it. It came out of the House, it's gonna to come to the Senate. And so we're gonna to need to address that. But I think that both Democrats and Republicans were have been very troubled by the way the president incited the insurrection on January the 6th. We've heard Mitch McConnell speak out on that as have other Republicans. So I do think this will be a legitimate effort to look at what the president's involvement was and to hold him accountable for improper behavior of a president. I, I think he violated his oath of office and that's what we'll, we'll look at the facts and make a determination. Now today, Senator Shaheen and her husband, DNC committeeman Billy Shaheen, were seated on the dais. Both have known Joe Biden since the 1980s. It's a close relationship, and they will both be key figures in maintaining New Hampshire's connection to the White House moving forward.